ignition system, an ECU, and harness. I know what I got. Hmm. Hmm. Well, they are clocked differently. It looks like to me. We got to cut it down, the shaft about that much, and then we can put a bar over here, basically over top of it, and connect it with the bolts and secure it. And this ridge. Made in Sweden. Check her out. Look at that. Wide open and no more. Okay. Well, we got some connections to tidy up here. Uh, I need to put some heat shrink on that, peel that electrical tape off. I had to make another connection for the ground for the alternator. And so we're going to heat shrink that as well. We have to leave that like that anyway because we need to get to the switch to make a T-junction. And so, uh, yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll leave that right there where it is. Well, it's just as simple as loosening the nuts up on the back, pulling the bolts out, dipping this bad boy in there and putting the bolts back in and tightening it up. And then we'll readjust for the belts up here at these set bolts. I'm just doing a quick look over, making sure I don't have to get back down in this area for anything that I can think of right now. I think I got it. The intake's not bolted up, it's just laying there. Um, of course, this doesn't belong there, I don't think. I don't think that goes right there. I think that goes, where does that go? I think it goes on the headlight. Uh, I don't know. Of course I'm joking.
This is the world you've made yourself. Now you have to live in it. Three, two, one, hardwired. Disconnect.